Hey there, a very happy new year to all of you. 2020 has been a terrible year for most people. Some have lost their jobs, some have lost their loved ones and some others have had to make great sacrifices. The whole world came to a stop. Hopefully 2021 would be a recovery year. I would like to draw some parallels with sports. Let's say you are trying to learn swimming. Now the first thing that you would be taught is on how to float. When you start learning how to float, it is to get the fear of water away from you. And very soon you will realize that if you fight with water, the water always wins. So it is about how you can understand the medium and relax your body so that you can float. Because as per physics, you can float. It's just that you need to learn on how to embrace the medium and how you can float. Now, once you've mastered floating, the next thing that you will start learning is on how to go from point A to point B. Now, once you practice a couple of days, you probably can comfortably go from point A to point B. Now, have you learned swimming? No, not yet. Because you need to learn on how to breathe and swim. Many people hold their breath and go from point A to point B. But that's only possible if the point A to point B distance is small. Now, what happens if you're put into an ocean or a sea? So you need to learn on how to breathe while swimming. Now, this is not going to come in easy. Uh, you need to learn techniques and you need to get into a rhythm where you know when you need to breathe out through the nose and when you need to breathe in through the mouth. Now, once you've practiced this, let's say you've learned this. Now, have you mastered swimming? No, not yet. You've mastered swimming when you have learned on recovery. What I mean by this is, let's take an example where you're swimming in the sea and it's a stroke where you're going to take in air through your mouth. And at that precise moment, a wave hits you and you swallow water. Now, what would happen? Chances are that you would panic. And when you panic, you start fighting with the water. And when you fight with the water, the water always wins. So you need to figure out how you will handle these situations and recover. It is only when you figure out how to recover from situations, then when you actually face the danger, you will automatically know how to respond to it and you will be able to come back to normalcy. If I can take another example related to water, uh, if you do scuba diving, you have different levels of certifications. And from the very basic certification, what they start hammering into you is on recovery. Let's say you dive 20 meters and you run out of air. How do you recover? How do you go and ask your buddy for some extra air? Or let's say your buddy's air is over and he comes and pulls your oxygen pipe. How do you handle that situation? So everything that is taught about in scuba diving is about recovery. And as you keep increasing your certifications, uh, the recovery goes from self-recovery to how do you actually rescue your other driver. So recovery is an integral part of any process. So recovery is the key to everything. If you do not learn on how to recover, then you've not learned it fully. So hopefully 2021 would be a recovery year. I would urge all of you all to do what is needed so that you can recover your life and come back to normalcy. Now, if it means you talk to someone and share your fears, please do it. If you think self-help books or videos would help, please do it. Or if it is simply sitting and introspecting and identifying your deepest fears and addressing them, then please do it. So with that, I would like to end this video and again, a very happy new year to all of you all. Thank you.